Hello, my name is Kirioth, and today, very much on a whim, I decided that I was going to try and make some sort of scenic base for my Chaos Lord on jet bike, which I'm well aware is not an actual unit. I have no idea what I'm going to run this model as, but I wanted to make it, so I did. But I figured he needed a fancy base. And so today, completely unprompted and without any sort of prior planning, which is where a lot of this went wrong, I decided to sit down and make one. Sometimes when you sit down to make a model or paint something or make a base, you know deep in your heart of hearts that you should have planned this better and you should take the time, take a moment to properly consider what you're doing and actually plan it out. I just wanted to do this, so I set my camera up and went for it and this is the result. I made a lot of mistakes and I'm glad I recorded this because in a way I think this could be kind of educational, mostly for me because I'm pretty sure most of you won't be daft enough to do half the things that I did when making this base. So first things first, it is a large base, it is way larger than the model actually needs but I needed something that this little mausoleum would fit onto. So this is from the Age of Sigmar scenery range, I forget which set specifically but it's essentially the graveyard. I got it through Mortal Realms, and I really like this scenery kit, I do have the full version of it. And I thought it would be fun to have this Chaos Lord on jet bike, which isn't a real thing, flying over one of these. So that's what I decided to do. Now to start with, I took the extra large base, which is again, completely the wrong size, and covered it with offcuts of corkboard. Now I use cork on pretty much every base I do for my Empress Children. It gives a bit of texture around the rim of the base, it raises the height of the model slightly, and you can use it to give interesting little rock formations and stuff. So I figured this was a good place to use some of the bits that were from the very edges, because it's all going to be covered, well, a lot of it is going to be covered, by the building itself. Once I got all the little offcuts in position, I went absolutely crazy with Vallejo Earth Texture. And this is the black lava asphalt version. I absolutely love this stuff. I use it on pretty much every base I do now. And up until this point, I, I was pretty happy with how things were going. Uh, but I had a sudden realization round about now that I should have planned a little more solidly for this because I just coated the base in very wet, very gritty, very rough texture, which is fine, except there is now nothing to glue the actual building onto. What I should have done was work out where I was going to place the mausoleum, just drew a quick rectangle around it, filled in the inside of the rectangle, then glued the mausoleum down, and then done the rest of it, but I didn't do that. Instead, what I did was cover the base in a very rough, uneven texture, meaning that there would not be a huge amount for the building to actually cling onto once it was super glued. That was the first mistake. Now we come to the second mistake. I decided to press on. I didn't wait for it to dry, it only takes a couple of hours, but I thought, no, I want to get this done. I want to make sure that I have a base for this model. I'm not going to quit, I'm just going to keep soldiering forward. So I made a little imprint in the lava effect, as you can see on the base there, and then I glued the mausoleum to it. I have no idea whether this bond will stand up to the test of time, I'm assuming it won't. I was able to pick the base up by the building, but I suspect a lot of that is down to what I started doing at this point, which was just taking that texture and putting it up the sides of the building. I wanted it to look as though the kind of ground itself was starting to crawl up and over this static object. It's a theme that I'm going for throughout all of my Empress Children army. Like, when there's something that has been laying there for some time, I want it to look like the ground is reclaiming it. And I think this is probably going to be the only thing that keeps the mausoleum in place.
Having done that, I then thought to myself, I forgot to get rid of some of the Sigma imagery off this thing. There are little symbols of Sigma on the front of it, and I haven't done anything to remove them. A bit of battle damage will fix that, so I took my trusty hobby drill and I started going at them, just making little bullet holes in the front of the mausoleum. And then as I started doing that, and then promptly got some plastic shavings in the still wet asphalt effect, I realised that I should have done this before I placed the mausoleum down, because anything that I scrape off at this point could easily get caught in the actual texture itself and be stuck there if I don't notice. You would think at this point that I would stop doing this and not, not carry on, wait until it's all dry. But no, I decided that I would drill a little hole there because that's where I thought I would put the Chaos Lord, having swooping low down over the building. I thought, well, I might as well do that bit because I want to make sure that he sits properly. And then as soon as I moved him over, you will see that I changed my mind on where to place him absolutely instantly, rendering that bullet hole that I carved with the intention of making it into the actual mount totally pointless. It is also fairly well hidden by the model itself, now that I have an actual mounting point for it. In the end, I decided to mount the model right at the back of the mausoleum, so that it is still swooping over it, but so that it's further up and at less of a severe angle. I want to hide the actual join itself as well as possible, and so it seemed more sensible and more logical to have it a bit further back. Having got the hole drilled in the mausoleum itself, I decided to just, again, very much the theme of today's adventure, go for it and do the same with the bike. The bike proved a little bit tricky, but I did get there in the end. Having successfully drilled both holes, I tried to see how feasible it would be to have something that went all the way through the mausoleum into the base itself. However, quickly after that I realised that anything that went that far down would end up being really visible through the two gates on the front and back of this thing. It would look a bit weird if there was just a random brass rod or plastic rod just sticking through the whole thing, so instead I decided to make it a little more a little more subtle but a bit less strong. I took the haft of a plastic I can't remember which weapon it was thinking about it, it may have been a standard and just filed it down slightly so that it fit into the gap. I wanted a nice plastic bond on the mausoleum itself I can't get that on the bike because it's resin so the bike itself will have to be super glued or alternatively I may leave it completely unglued so that it's easier to transport by taking it off the mausoleum itself. At the end of it, I think it came out okay. I made a lot of mistakes. A lot of mistakes. I should have, for a start, marked out where the mausoleum was going to be and not stuck earth texture all over it before gluing it down. I should have made sure that any battle damage and bullet holes were done either before I stuck it down or after the earth texture is dry, and that's why there's still only the four. I'm going to do more, but I think I'll wait until there's less chance of plastic spirals getting caught in the actual landscape. I should have worked out where I was going to put the bike properly, finally, before drilling the first hole in anticipation of placing the bike there. All in all, this for me is mostly a cautionary tale. If you're going to do something like this, do plan it out, don't just go for it, and if you're going to go for it, at least have the sense to think about what you're doing before you do it. Hopefully the next one will go a bit smoother. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed that near disaster as it was. I feel like it came out okay in the end, but I definitely could have done a better job. 
Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Feel free to click all the things, Patreon, video, subscribe, all of that stuff. And as always, there's an affiliate link in the description for Element Games, which you can use to support the channel if you would like. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you for the next one.